Hey everybody, it's Paul Grossman, the Dark Arts Wizard of Test Automation, and if I could just be serious for just one moment, I'd like to talk to you about a brand new book that's been published by Peck Publishing. No, it's not the grimoire over here. It is Software Testing Strategies, and this is by Matt Huser and Michael Larson. All right, this is a cool new book. I'm gonna give you a little bit of an overview on it. It comes in three different parts. The first one is just in order to get you accelerated toward becoming a senior tester and how we do that. Starting off with the first understanding is complete testing is impossible, except it start off with it. You wanna get as close to the top of the mountain, but you'll never reach it but you need to cover as much as you possibly can. And these guys really get into it. They talk about how you can use all pairs, pairs wise testing, such as uh, recommended by Dr. Kim Kaner. And they also make it fun with sample websites, including a palindrome page, a parking cost calculator, as well as a battleship PDF. They talk about strengths and weaknesses of test automation versus manual testing. And uh, also talking about load testing and writing defects efficiently and effectively, and most importantly, clearly. They also talk about metrics, the pros and cons, and which ones to follow and which ones to avoid. They have problems and solutions of test data management, all in the first section. It talks about testing and software delivery. Their delivery models and testing, and, and they talk about waterfall, scrum, safe, Kanban, and of course, continuous delivery and deployment with DevOps. They have a puzzle pieces that all come together to make good testing. The puzzle pieces of good testing uh, include recipes, coverage, defects, scheduling and risk, strategy, and even a dashboard that tells us how are we gonna communicate our success with the others around us, and including our senior management, our bosses, right? And it also talks about how to put together your testing strategy, lean software testing over total quality management and how it compares to Agile and Scrum today. And finally, that section wraps up with seven wastes, things you don't wanna be doing such as transport weighting and defects and the metrics of flow efficiency, congestion, and touch time. All that time just trying to figure out what to do while not being efficiently putting together our defects in a reasonable amount of time. The last part of this book talks about practicing politics in real world projects. And they have a nice little thing over in my RC, RC, RC. That's recent release notes, core functionality and user journeys, the risk, the configuration sensitivity, and finally repaired JIRA tickets, which ones are done, which ones are coming back, and chronic, what changed the most, and even talking about defect clustering. There are plenty of tables and graphs in this book to break down complex concepts. And then they talk about one of the things I really didn't think about, dealing with bullies inside of your project, recognizing social signals that let you know that eh, people might be playing games rather than trying to be productive and then trying to mess with you. Uh, there's a smart, non-confrontational way to say that, hey, we're willing to help, but we aren't gonna be taking on somebody else's problems as our own. There's ways that you can deal with that if that's an issue in your job today. They also talk about boundaries and narcissistic personalities and taking the philosophy and ethics in software testing seriously. They follow that up with logical fallacies. I mean, obviously this can make your world hell. And one path might be you have to escape your job, but Matt proposes to first take responsibility for yourself and others, especially when we are looking, talking about our success. And more importantly, the words we use in different groups and how we emphasize them. It includes the subtext of what's being said, like what the customer wants and whether your developers are willing to do it. I like how every image has an eye-catching point, a placeholder, so you don't read ahead if you're skimming. It forces me to go back and see what it is I might be missing. It even covers the usefulness of artificial intelligence. Hint, hint, documentation, document your code, use your AI to do that, I, I like that. Check out Software Testing Strategies, a testing guide for the 2020s by Matt Huser and Michael Larson. It's available both on Amazon and Pact Publishing, and it pairs very well with the enhanced 
Test Automation with WebDriver RO, my book with my co-author Larry Goddard, also available on Amazon and Pact Publishing. So check them both out. Software testing strategies and enhanced test automation with WebDriver IO from Pact Publishing and available on Amazon. Available as a paperback or as an ebook. And so, stay vigilant, my test automation and manual testers. Capture every bug you can and have yourself a great day. Ha 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 ha.